On then to a new journey as the Watcher. Only two cards left in this mastery challenge. One curse, one colorless card. And if we don't get a start that offers either of those things, I think we probably go for Boss Relic to improve our chance of seeing Cursed Key. Although I don't mind a gold start on this map overall. With mastery being the goal, we sort of need to prioritize the special stuff. So let's go for the boss swap here. We get an Astrolabe, which is better than the starting bonuses we were offered anyway. I'm going to go ahead and transform three defense here on Watcher. See what happens. We get a Sands of Time plus, a Cut Through Fate plus, and a Study plus. Studies have been an interesting one here, but everything else that we just got is excellent. Two very good early game damage cards. And we should be able to tackle this Burning Elite then with this start. That's a sufficiently strong one that we can do just about anything that we want. Also hit to the early shop here and remove a card. Although I think we want to avoid shops by and large until we have enough money to at least buy violence. Have I ever considered making my own card game? I have not. I've thought about making a game of some kind a couple of times, but keep coming back to I enjoy playing games, not so much making them. Or trying to make them. I don't have a miracle. Tragic. Making games is hard. Okay, that first fight could have gone better, quite frankly. We are struggling a little bit for block, and a talk to the hand will help a lot. Making games is very hard. Spark Spies, thanks for eight months of support. I do enjoy tweaking existing games. That can be quite fun. Wow, we get another uh, another really good early event. Remove transform upgrade offered this early. That means we can upgrade eruption before this burning elite. Let's do it. All upgrades, please. Are the two cards I have left character specific? They are not. Twenty-seven, thirty-nine. Cannot kill. This will do that. Ah. This is surprisingly ineffective in the early fights because of the slowness of the sands of time and the um, study. But as soon as we get into fights that are meant to last a little bit longer, we'll be doing great. Oh my, wow. I could close my eyes and click here and I'd do just fine. Probably going to grab a wall up though. Meditate is also quite strong. This is one of my favorite cards here. Damage and block at the same time is so versatile. Especially with Watcher's stances. A bit expensive, but well worth the price, if you ask me. We can upgrade two cards at random for 20 more health. I am down. We've already gotten four upgraded cards. I want to really increase the upgrade density here. Give me a strike and a defend plus also. Now it all says plus, nearly. And that'll make the Burning Elite easier to handle. With 24 health and an attack potion, I'm not afraid. Not with this deck. How about 17 health? And one less strike. I like that even more. Bring it. If we don't die to this elite, we're going to be perfect. I guess I could go around the elite, huh? I don't have to be so brazenly suicidal. But I also have nothing to lose. Let's do it. Let's show them how it's done. Yeah, this is going to go really well. No, we wait. We need to wait. Yes. Wake up. Put 
Hello. A bonk. A bonk again. Full block. Easy peasy. Now we have a peace pipe. And instead of upgrading the remaining garbage, we can just get rid of it all. Amazing. How can he bunk? Don't think I want to pray, although... No, we want a uh, prostrate, not a prey. I do think I am going to rest. This gremlin knob will not be so smooth. So let's sleep here. And I'll keep taking events, because events are the only way we're going to get clumsy. Realistically. Oh! Wait, no, this is not one way. Of course you are, he says. What do you mean, of course I am? I'm not ready for anything. Other than a relic. I'll take a hundred gold. Thank you. Yay! Huzzah. And? Bottled Flame. Eh. We could bottle Talk to the Hand. We can bottle Sands of Time. We can bottle Cut Through Fate. Or I could just take the blue key here. With only 12 cards in the deck, and quite frankly, we're going to have less cards over time, not more. It seems ridiculous to bottle anything. Take the key. How many hours have I spent mastering cards? The challenge started on the first of this year, so most of this year has been spent on the mastery challenge. All of them. Exactly. Two. Oh wait, I should have played wallop there, right? No, oh, this is fine. So we go, what, Strike Vigilance? Try to get back to Wrath? That shouldn't be hard. There's very few cards in the deck. Take three, win the fight. Easy. Juzu Bracelet. We will not encounter combats in question mark rooms. And we're offered a wheel kick or a wallop. I guess there's also Alpha. I like a wheel kick quite a bit in this position. Although one would need to upgrade it. Apparently I'm gonna pipe some cards, probably. I guess we can skip these. Skip these for now. Yeah, Juzu is also helpful for clumsy hunting. Purify. So now we have 10 cards in the deck. This is our current deck of cards. At the end of Act 1. <laughs> Good lord. Good lord. Uh, take a regular fight first because of uh, potion or something. Yeah, and two out of three keys. You'd love to see it. Do 52 times more damage than necessary. Talk about overkill. Prey is back. Do not want prey. I almost want prey. Although, wait, hold on. With so few cards in the deck. Can I do like pray, insight, pray, insight, pray, insight? Is that a thing? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, actually not five. One, two, three, four, five, six real cards? I think I can do that.
It still works... No, it doesn't work with Prostrate, because it doesn't generate new insight. Seems like a way to get killed by Chosen. No, we just kill Chosen with Eruption Sands of Time. Easy. I want to try this. I have to know if this is actually functional or not. And Lagavulin will be the test bed. Perfect. For science. So the idea is we go insight, insight. Now there are zero cards in the discard pile, zero cards in the draw pile. I do prey, insight, which draws prey and insight. Prey, insight, draws prey and insight. And then we can pray again. And then we're divine. Neat. Let's go strike, cut through fate, eruption. And then we just kill the sands of time. Neat. And if we remove more cards, that's easier to do. It makes Mental Fortress pretty good. Or we could have just, instead of adding Prey, we could have just added Tantrum and been like, easy. Definitely grab uh, Mental Fortress. Signature move. Not today. Not today. some weirdness going on. So I think I actually want to upgrade the Prey first. I have to play it fewer times. Yeah, it does need an upgrade for sure to make that work more effectively. Slimes could be a slight issue. Let's just bank two energy here. You think you can crush me? Got another thing coming. I guess we just keep collecting the insight for now. So we do 52. Looks like you probably want an energy potion. Just go Mental Fortress, Cut Through Fate, Sands. Or actually, more accurately, Sands, Cut Through Fate. Let's do that. And then I have a lot of insights to draw with on this turn, as well as an attack potion in, in the event of an emergency, which there is not any emergency here. Trying to use prey in this fight seems unlikely to work well, though. Next turn looks kind of spooky. Guess we just play this then. Of course, the little minions are going to be an issue, are they not? Also do 18, 18, 10, which is less than this. I'll just do that. Good. So draw the strike and kill this one. Still have four insights. Spooky, but not too bad. We didn't use the prey really in that fight, and that's okay. Lesson learned is here to allow us to upgrade cards. I guess with a peace pipe, it is still better than manually upgrading Talk to the Hand, Wallop, Vigilance, and Mental Fortress. 
because it'll save me two or three rest site actions and only cost me one to remove. So I'm down for that, actually. I'm, I'm down for lesson learned and, and only hold it for a short time. You can also use it to upgrade any additional cards we add. Exactly, we can always just toke it later. Brilliance, I don't think, is all that helpful. As, as noted, if, we, if we're looping prey, it doesn't really matter what else is happening. Let's just take in Toka Lesson Learned. And then take a Fusion Hammer. Seems pretty good. Literally no downside. Actually, there is a downside. I have to remove cards at rest sites. If I'm at full health, anyway. If I'm not at full health, we can just rest. Could Empty Cage strike and defend here? No starter cards remain. I do like having more energy per turn. This deck would really like more energy. Happy with a Fusion Hammer. You, no, I don't believe you can rest at full health. Nor can you simply skip the rest site. You, if, if the other options are grayed out, we must remove a card. It's actually something that can really hurt um, minimalist attempts if you're trying for the achievement of five cards or less and you have a peace pipe. Uh, you may end up forced to purge one of your five cards in Act 4 or something. If you're not careful. Actually, wait, no, maybe you can rest at full health, and it's just Coffee Dripper, you can't. Okay, chat confirms you can rest at full health, it sounds like. I am mistaken there. So then it's mostly with Coffee Dripper, not Fusion Hammer, that you have to worry about that situation. With Coffee Dripper, if you have no cards to upgrade, you'd be forced to remove one. But not with a Fusion Hammer. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm thinking of Coffee Dripper. Definitely thinking about the Coffee Dripper. So, do we want to go to a lot of events? How important is that? Seems moderately important, actually. It's not like I benefit from much else. Did we go to one shop? Yeah, might as well. We get one event here, and then let's do these three. Take this fire. Don't always have the strongest turn ones. Hmm. Can't use Wallop to block here. A curious problem. Easy. Easy. Although we do have a lesson to learn potentially here. We don't have to lesson learn in every fight because there are so few unupgraded cards in this deck. But if we can, we should. Doesn't look like we can here. Let's see, if I play Vigilance, we block for another 8 plus 6. 866 is uh, 20. We would take 2 if I play Vigilance Defend and Strike here. Pick two to get the upgrade now is probably worth it.
Vigilance Plus. Once again, Tantrum is here. Remove a card from your deck. Oh. <laughs> okay, then. Sure. Don't mind if I do. Might be time to get rid of Sands of Time soon. Would anyone like some max health? Anyone at all? How about a deep breath? Is this a deep breath deck? Nezral31, thanks for the prime sub. And same old sin, thanks for 14 months of support. Deep breath might unironically be insane here. Seems good, actually. Yeah, it's going to draw... Upgraded, it'll draw two for zero energy. And that lets us redraw, of course, Prey. We can also afford a card remove here, because... Yeah. How many more cards must I remove? We could get rid of Eruption. That'd be really funny. This is getting silly. All right, I'll buy Deep Breath. <laughs> I don't know if I want to remove Defend quite yet. Not going to be Talk to the Hand. Shouldn't be Violence. Definitely won't be Cut Through Fate. So yeah, I think we remove Sands of Time or Eruption. We're not going to remove Eruption yet. We need that for Elites. can buy Sanctity, remove oh. the Defend. It's not a bad idea. I like that Sanctity. Oh. Let's do that. I like that suggestion from a chat member. But yeah, this is why we didn't remove Eruption, this fight right here. Dare. Deep breath. We can wallop. Show me sands of time. I guess just show me vigilance next turn. by two. Interesting. Seems fine, right? So it has to be, in order to get the kill with the lesson learned here, it has to be Sands of Time, then Eruption, then Lesson Learned. If you play Eruption first, you can no longer get the Lesson Learned kill. I didn't see any way to get a le uh, lesson learned lethal last turn. There might have been, but I didn't think we have enough energy to do that. Worship unnecessary? I think so. I think so. 
These three could be trouble. Might want to use the attack potion. No, we want that for the elite. Alright, I'm going to bank then. Forget Mental Fortress for now. Here's where it gets spooky. Very spooky. So we want to pray, then deep breath. Insight. Okay, so we can go Metal Fortress Prey now. Is that what we want? Metal Fortress? I think so. Get five energy back. Seems pretty good. Excellent. Great fight. Let me keep skipping here. Rest site is another removal chance. Do we dare get rid of eruption? Do I need talk to the hand? Do I need wallop? Yes, I need wallop. Pretty sure that I do. I don't need Sands of Time is what I don't need. Let's get rid of Sands of Time. We also don't need Lesson Learned. Well, we still need it for a little bit. We need it to upgrade uh, Deep Breath at minimum and Mental Fortress. Definitely Deep Breath, though. Do we want to go left path instead? Get less fires here if we don't need uh, removals as much. I guess that is a little bit better. Yeah, that does seem a bit better. We don't get any more events this way anyway, so let's go left. Wasn't expecting the free remove here when we originally marked out the path after all. Of course, there is some downsides. Definitely. signature move but I can use this follow up All right this might hurt a bit quick maths 18 14 32 right we want eruption here I guess we could talk to the hand too gonna get three energy back so I actually can't play the talk to the hand this is gonna be eruption cut lesson learned got it can't kill with wallop it's gonna sting a bit then so nice it upgraded itself
Fair enough. Okay. That certainly could have gone worse, but it didn't. I'm actually not sure who wrote that meow command. <laughs> I love that it's there, but I'm not sure where it came from. Have we ever had two copies of the unmastered card and then just failed the run? Oh yeah. We've done that with uh, Clumsy specifically even. It definitely happens. All right, now we'll toke sands of time. Dead Mousy, hello and welcome. Finally, the timelines match. Started watching about three months ago, and now you can watch live. Welcome. <laughs> Excellent prime command as well. The spooky turn one here. You gonna employ the explosive pot. If you go wallop, explosive pot, cut through fate, take zero. I like take zero. Dead Mousy, thanks for the prime sub. Welcome to the cozy sub club. Well done. One free turn is usually all we need to get things set up with this deck. Once we are set up, we are really set up. Here it comes. Ridiculous. <laughs> Publius Maximus, thanks for the three months. Once again, thanks for helping the tiny baby sleep. Six month old and teething. Good to hear. Small human progression. Continues. Thanks for the continued support there. We need a stance exit. Divinity is our stance exit. Although I guess we'd like a way to exit Divinity so we can get back into Divinity, maybe. I don't think Empty Body counts, though. Bird Face Turn heals us two upon playing a power card. We do have two of them. So that heals us four per fight, as long as we play both powers. Seems good. Evil Avocado. Hmm. Concerning. Talk to the hand wallop blocks. Not the right amount, because it kills the enemy. It's not good. I think we'll just take some damage here. It's fine. The faster we get this stuff in play, the better. Hmm. Oops. 
am I supposed to pray before I do that? Doesn't matter. There we go. Deep breath upgraded. That's going to make our life a lot easier. Moving forward. Still need to upgrade Wallop, of course. But once we have that, we're good. I'm going to take events here. That means our next fight will be the Bronze Automaton as events are going to be the only chance we have of possibly getting clumsy. And it seems like we're doing just fine with the deck as it is. Would I consider a master reality here? I don't think so. Would give us more draw on the insights, but we really don't need that. Um, I guess I'll take three strength on turn one. Sure. Fight. Fee of all my gold, huh? I'll show you all of my money. This will do 32. Pointy, no! Pointy, yes. Insights, we actually can't do all that much. I guess this is fine. Weird order here, but okay. Oh yeah, we already got the lesson learned. That's right. And we got our upgraded wall up. Now we can remove the lesson learned, or we could add another wall up or something. I don't think we need to though. I think we just purge this lesson learned now. And we could also purge talk to the hand, I think. We got two rest sites. Let's do it. Let's remove lesson learned and talk to the hand here. Further distill this down. The whack. You were knocked unconscious. Groggy and with a throbbing head, you awaken to find yourself thrown into the center of a massive stadium. It's seriously really big. So much for Juzu avoiding fights, right? Well, it says normal enemy combats. And for what it's worth, these are not normal enemies. These are extra special enemies. Turn two is a pretty good sign. Well done, weakling. 
I choose to fight. Again! Though it might mean mine own death. It does not. come from. It'd be ridiculous. fine with that. Nine. Seems okay. Is no longer okay. Ow. I think we've got a rest side coming up. Terrifying. My hit points. How dare you. Corpus Frisky, thanks for the half year of support in advance. That wound up bad. Good stuff. Easy peasy. Having an incense burner is excellent. It's even automatically set to the correct number for the boss, by the way. So totally worth it because we immediately get to beat Bronze Automaton for free. We're immune to Hyper Beam. I guess I'll sleep one time, though. Just for a little bit of safety. Although, not... I don't think this will matter, actually, because we should beat the Bronze Automaton well before... problems would arrive. You study, yeah. And I owe the chat a dad joke. Uh, why is this boss so large? Because they weigh an atomic ton. What I got for you, Twitch chat, no refunds. Is the goal of the deck to get essentially infinite divinity? The goal of the deck is to do this. more energy? Is this good? Not sure. Here we are. Ray. Insight. Deep breath. Ray. Insight. Okay, we could Vigilance Prey again. We're actually not net gaining energy, though. I guess we should get rid of some of this other stuff. Take the rarest card in my discard pile, huh? control what that is. Let's do that for the moment. 
Oh, they took it from the draw pile. They took an insight. That's great. It's incredible, actually. seem to do that much damage, though. Well, maybe that's not right. It's only turn three. We got the boss halfway down. Also took an insight. Cute. Get wrecked, nerd. Sir, sir, step away from the infinite. The, the almost infinite. Honestly, cards seem like they're not helpful. Devotion could theoretically add to what we're doing. It would give us more stuff per turn. I don't think we need more stuff per turn, though, really. Just have a devotion potion for the one fight where we do want devotion. It's in a potion. Welp, that seems good. Pyramid means we could retain the hand, means we can much more reliably do combo stuff much more easily. Could also take the Sozu or Calling Bell, I guess. It's not the world's worst Sozu. Go to five energy per turn. Get to do even more stuff. Seems good. Also get six max health if we take the calling bell, it's true. It's already positive energy, guys. Yeah, t technically, Jay Devlinson. But then you have to account for the energy cost of leaving the divinity to get into the second divinity. And we have no free exit, so... Yeah. Zernic Pyramid still good with a 10-card deck where you see all 10 cards from two, turn 2 on? Yes. Yes, it is. Because it allows us to get all of the cards into our hand at the same time. Oh, yeah, I guess if you Vigilance, it's still net neutral, right? Easy. Take the Pyramid. We're only one card away from proper shenanigans anyway, feels like. Take events. Go to shops. Just take a lot of events. See, we can do five. Might as well. But do we have a spiker solution? Oh yeah, we do. It's Incense Burner. I forgot about that. Bonk. Ah, 
Hmm. <laughs> Guess there's only one real choice here, huh? Anyone want 18, uh, 12 max health, rather? I guess we could toke them pretty easily, huh? Wait a minute. If we get a random fight, though, we're in such trouble. This would mean we couldn't take double orb walkers, for example. Let's fight a boss. Juzu makes us more likely to find double orb walkers, Twitch chat. <laughs> Crazy, I tell you. We put all these slimes in my deck. We can now gain strength at rest sites. That's pretty spicy. Yeah, I don't mind that at all. We are going to be going to a bunch of rest sites. Just get Gurya. Just get treasure chests with Akabeko inside. Just get to the merchant. Okay, 999 gold might have been actually kind of good. Admittedly. Is it ever Strange Spoon? Wait a minute, Strange Spoon with insights. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Worst toxic egg of all time. And then we found Medical Kit later. Is it finally time for Eruption to go? I say yay. Remove eruption. Yes, pay money for remove eruption. You heard me. Can't afford to use my valuable lift actions for this garbage. Winding holes. Seems like we're past the point of transform being a possible option. I'll just lose max health, although madnesses are actually kind of insane here, are they not? Let's just actually go infinite. You know what? Let's do it. Wait, we have Spoon? <laughs> Wait a minute. What have I done? <laughs> the power. If only we thought to buy Toxic Egg. That's okay. One Madness will make the other one free, and then the Strange Spoon will keep saving the free one. Just, just trust it. Just believe. Spoon! Unlimited card draw. Love it. <laughs> this is great. Well, let's recall now. It's working. But why? Why is it working? How is it working? 
Oomst, is it working? Oh, no, you don't. Five burns is not even that bad, huh? Bring it. I'll just hold them all in my hand at the same time. It's not afraid of you. Infinite? No, my hand is full. I'm a ghost. You take that. Spoon. Hmm. There we go. No! <laughs> Could have used Gambler's Brew there, but I don't need to. I think we're fine. We just get some more burns. Easy. There we go. My deck is now 75% burns, I believe. Coca Soca Loca, thanks for the 10 months of the Prime sub. It's here, Twitch chat, Sundial. We are properly infinite. No more shenanigans, no more nonsense. Just infinity and winning is here now. Manifested. Infinite has arrived. Merchant has arrived, offering a kunai, a panache is, is kind of cute. Nothing else here is what we're looking for. With career, maybe we just save just in case of double violence. Purity can do fun stuff. Get rid of status cards, no, namely. Okay, I'll buy purity. I like it. Strange Spoon Purity, no less. I like it. It's even better that way. And we can use it to get rid of cards we also don't need for a particular fight. Should we encounter any such situations. even have the deep breath too which makes it extra ridiculous
Welcome to dead. Mr. Giant Head. Really have to wait till turn three to go properly infinite, though? I don't like that. actually have that much direct card draw, I guess. Thirteen energy suddenly? Oh, beggar prep. There we go. Now we're infinite on turn two. And an empty mine also draws cards. Perfect. Master Reality is cute. Stelve, thanks for the 37 months in a row. Hey, try not to sub to any streamers on your way to the parking lot. in the draw pile. I'll just discard them. This hand's attacking. Spoon. Talk to the hand 15. <laughs> Just for, I love it. I really love it. All right, it's done. We only got five uses out of that talk to the hand. Whole deck is madness. Absurd. This is a fun run. I wish I could take signature move, but we'll never be able to use it. We lift. Get our second point of strength. We'll get one more before this is over. Tim. There are some who call me Tim. Hopefully we have purity to get rid of certain things like study, I think, is something we don't want here. Hold it for now, though. Breath is still good here. Guess I can just lose talk to the hands.
Oh, we kept purity too. Nice. Get rid of these. Seemingly unlimited insights just from playing the prey. I just kill you now. Easy. That'll do for turn one. Twitch chat, I think we're back. Not too much of a disconnect there. We're back. Welcome back, one and all. Sorry for the interruption there. Looks like the internet forgot it's supposed to be on for a second. The ISP couldn't handle all this power. Who's Sanctity, too? I'm gonna keep the purity. An internet fart. Perhaps the funniest fart of all. Simply increase the number of cards in your hand until infinity occurs. Set this up to four? Or do we actually just want it on five? Might just want it on five. Because if we get to turn two of Spear and Shield, we already win. Let's put it on turn on five. Let's <laughs> go. 
This is fun. The power. Guess I could have set Sundial to two, but I don't think it'll matter too much either. 2574 is our score here. A good year as we blap the heart with the hottest of nonsense. Seems like this deck is just leveling everything in sight. We lift. Become strong. Are we sure we don't want to master reality? It is kind of funny, actually. And I have nothing better to spend my money on, ostensibly. Uh, if I want to make this take a lot longer, we can get Melange. Whenever we shuffle the draw pile, scry for three. This is not helpful because of a, some weird interactions it has. And it would be very time consuming. So I think it would actually be a horrible addition to this deck, as usual. Poor Melange. Did we managed to complete extra pain train challenge yesterday, done it? We did. We finished extra pain train with the. The Little Fade plus Triple Entombed Explosive build. <laughs> Poor Melange. Could have been so good, but it's... You know what? Let's buy the Master Reality. That just seems funny. I wonder if that means we don't need Study anymore. We can just use the ones from the Prey. It seems really likely. Do that. Where we're going, we don't need panache. Or intangible, apparently. Just having all the cards in hand is kind of important here. So that gives me an insight plus. From there, everything else. Mantra. Hard to tell because of the the card <laughs> the card hotkeys makes it looks like we have three mantra, but we have uh, four. Use. Okay, but we need to sundial. That's what we need to do here. Okay, so that's fine. So let's pray deep breath. get the idea. I gain 300 plus block and you all die. And we set up incense burner again, I guess. We do. Seems wise. We want it on four here. Yeah, imagine doubting Runic Pyramid. It's really showing off why Pyramid is so strong. It's not just about being able to retain cards to have them on a different turn, but also to be able to increase the total number of cards in your hand at one time to allow for absolute bullshit to occur. That's what Pyramid's great at.
Exactly you. I have Ornithopters. So we might as well play another card first. We get a real. We get a fake one. In, I I knew I didn't need one in a potion. Dang it! I guess Devil Form is not helpful. Feh. Whatever. It don't matter none. Nah, it doesn't matter much. Not for I am a ghost. Tuck. Madness the prey. Go. No statuses. Do we get purity back again? No, it, it it perfectly got rid of itself and everything else. So now there's pretty much nothing opposing us now. We can begin the shenaniganry. Smashed in the face. GG, Mr. Hart. GG. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next, and don't forget to follow on Twitch to watch the content live. Click the link in the description below.